following is based on a true story. Get cherry pie like this in California. Oh, Dad. Give her a break, Dad. Hey, yeah. what did I say? Oh, you're impossible. She was hired over a group of 100 graduates. So she could change her mind. It's not too late. Oh, let her go. This is a wonderful opportunity. You know that. Oh, okay, Laura. What do I have to do? Dad, where did all this come from? Come on, it's a chance of a lifetime. I can't even believe they offered me the job. You could get a good job right here in Virginia. Oh, stop. Oh, the silicon. And Valley is the major leagues, and Kensatron is the best. You always told me to go for the best. I said that. <laughs> Tom. <laughs> I'm gonna miss you, baby. Oh, I'll miss you too, Dad. <laughs> I'll be all right. <laughs> This is where you'll be doing most of your work. Most, that is, except for when you're testing your designs, which, of course, you'll do in a secure area. Which reminds me, I'll have to start putting you in for security clearance. Right. Now, this is going to be your workstation right here. You wear your badge above your waist at all times. Okay. Now, they're color-coded. You work your way up to gold, and this entire toy store is open up to you. <laughs> Chris? Yeah, come on. I think we've done it. We've got the clock rate up to 20 megahertz with no sign of failure. Excuse me. I didn't mean to bust in. No, that's OK. Uh, Rich, this is Laura Black. Laura's one of our new design engineers. She's going to be working over in signal processing. Hi, Rich. Nice to meet you. Hi. Well, we were uh, just getting ready to get a bite to eat. You want to come with us? That sounds good. OK. Yeah, it's great. Hey, look, you like softball? Mm -hmm. Good, we got a great softball team. First thing you're gonna learn about KEI is we're like one big family. 
a dysfunctional family. <laughs> no. Anyway, Laura didn't come to KEI to play softball. Did you find an apartment yet? No. I was thinking about sharing. Well, then you ought to try to get a hold of a copy of our award-winning company newsletter. You'll find riveting coverage of last month's pancake breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> And they have ads for roommates in the back. Thanks, I'll check it out. I'll catch up with you guys. We are talking serious truck here. For skiing. I bought it for the snow. You like to ski? I love skiing. I hear that just a couple hours from where we are, some of the best there is. Yes. Have you ever been to a tractor pull? <laughs> no, I can't say I have. I know it sounds weird, but they're really a whole lot of fun. There's going to be one on Saturday at the fairgrounds, and I just happen to have a couple of tickets. You want to go with me? <sighs> Sorry, but I couldn't. I know we just met, but you'd be in good hands with me. I have high-level security clearance. America trusts me, so can you. Thanks, but I really can't go. Yeah. All right, ready to go. Okay. Back to the salt mine. <laughs> Jacuzzi, pool, rec room with wet bar, half a dozen other amenities you're probably never going to use. So why would you want to move to Sunnyvale anyway? Well, I just graduated UC Davis, and now I'm working as an engineer at KEI. Engineering? Uh-huh. Wow. Tell me, what was the ratio of guys to girls there? Well, I don't know. Ten to one? Incredible. I made the mistake with art history. Twelve guys my entire major, half of whom were gay. So. <laughs> so you're from New York? You can tell. I'm from Soho. I paint. Why, uh, why fire escapes? I happen to like them. I sold quite a few of those in my time. Well, that must be quite a leap, huh? Soho to the Silicon Valley? Yeah, well, believe it or not, I don't have a trust fund. <laughs> so what's your work deal? Well, my job's got a three-month probation period. That's all I can commit to in terms of rent. Well, if you can compete in engineering school and get a job at KEI, I'll bet on you. How long is it going to take you to get your stuff here? Thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm new. I, I didn't know the store would be locked. Oh, they open it at 8. I'm just trying to get in early, get myself together. I should have realized everything around here is security. <laughs> I'm Glenda Moritz. I work in accounting. Nice to meet you. I'm Laura, Laura Black. Black. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I've got you right here. Welcome. Well, thanks for letting me in. If I can do anything for you, Glenda. Well, you can. Um, first base? Excuse me? We need a first baseman for the softball team. Deal. <laughs> Rich. Smell something good? How'd you get in? Fresh baked blueberry bread. Made it myself. Rich, it's 7 o'clock in the morning. What are you doing here so early? I couldn't sleep when I can't sleep. I work at my computer or I bake. You want to know my secret? Lemon zest. It brings it all together. Here. Enjoy. Thank you.
What a surprise! But you're just the person I want to see. Did you find a place to live yet? Yes, I have. Great. Guess what? What? I got two tickets for the Temptations concert on Sunday night. You want to go? I'm busy on Sunday. Okay, well, forget about the concert. What about dinner Saturday night? Look, I just really don't think it's a good idea. It's going to be real hard for us to have a relationship if you keep refusing to go out with me. Rich, the only relationship that we're going to have is a professional one in the office. I don't think it's a good idea to wear such a sexy looking top in public. It might give people the wrong impression. thinking about the terms of our relationship. I know this isn't a good time now, but I thought after the game, maybe we could go out and discuss it then. No, Rich. How do I make myself clear? We are not having a relationship. I am not going out with you. What's it going to take for you to get it? You're not going to use that aluminum bat, are you? You're never going to get a hit with that one. Hey, come on, Laura. Play ball. No private coaching. Not too late to change bats, Laura. Strike two! That's the wrong bat for you. I know what I'm talking about. You should use a wooden one. Okay, Glenda. I can handle him. Now, will you keep giving him those looks, and uh, he's not going to bake you any more blueberry bread. <laughs> yeah, That's exactly what I'm hoping for.
Phyllis. Mm -hmm. Hi. Hi. That uh, new engineer in Chris's group, Laura Black, one of the techs overheard that she has a birthday coming up, and we were thinking about having a little party. So could you find me her exact birthday? Oh, sure. Thank you. Looks like your tech overheard wrong. Her birthday's until January. <sighs> That's weird. <laughs> Thanks anyway, Phyllis. Sure. Laura! This is for you. I don't want your gifts. I don't really care what you want after the way you were acting yesterday. What are you talking about? You were making faces at me. Don't think I didn't see you. Childish, silly faces, and that's why you're getting this. Go on, open it. I'm not going to leave until you open it. If you're going to act like a child, I'm going to have to treat you like a child. Here's a letter. Read it. So, until I can ask you out nicely and have you say yes, I'll be around. I promise. If you really want to get rid of me, you're going to have to bite the bullet and let me take you out a few times. If we just argue and fight, then I'll leave you alone for good. Oh. What are you going to do about this guy, Laura? Well, I'm not inviting him to the company picnic, if that's what you mean. Earth to Laura. This is a man on the edge. you got to tell your boss. I work with 60 guys. I am the only woman in my department. There are people just waiting for me to pick up my dolls and go home. I've always done things on my own. I can handle this guy. What are you going to do, sit him down and have a chat with them? I mean, this is not a, a person that you can reason with. I refuse to be his victim. I'm not going to give him that power. You don't get it. Anything you say to a guy like this is like trouble. I mean, you, you can't even make eye contact with him. Do you like tofu? Hmm? Laura, oh, this is like trying to talk to the geniuses I work with. I'm serious. What are you going to do? I'm going to toss the tofu in the salad, and we are going to have dinner. I couldn't believe it. This is supposed to be like the number one team in the league, right? Oh. Third, 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 third. Sleep. What about the pitcher, though? I mean, he tries to touch his back in a slow pitch. <laughs> but you know what? It was the infield. The infield was cooking. That's it. Defense is the name of the game. All the way? Yeah. I think your, your offense overwhelmed them too, Laura. What were you, four for five? Can I have a refill, Linda? Mm. Thank you. Whew. Anybody hungry? Let's put an order in. Oh, yes, um, yes. Starving. Um, I'll have a, ooh, a number 24, please. Number 26. Uh, turkey and ham with cheese is their best. Right. Okay. Anybody else? Um, I'll have a number 29. Thank you. Ooh, buddy, buddy, buddy. Come on. Okay, everybody got some? <clears throat> <clears throat> to us. <laughs> and people like us. Woo! for an alternator and a new battery. What is an alternator anyway? Well, the alternator powers the electrical system. It recharges the battery. So give have an me subways, give me taxis, <laughs> give me buses. I mean, $300 is a lot of cab fare.
I spoke to Chris a while ago. He told me you were going to be late on account of somebody slashed your tires last night. That's terrible, Laura. I feel awful. Yeah, I bet you do, Rich. Well, you must live in a dangerous neighborhood. Either that or someone's trying to make you pay attention. Nobody makes me do anything I don't want to. I call the police and they're investigating. Without any witnesses, there's really not much they can do. Didn't they tell you that? They advised me to get a restraining order against you. Listen, Laura, I don't ever want to see any cops around me. Things would just get out of hand. It would be a mistake. So, uh, have you given any thought to how you're going to replace your tires? Pep Boys is having a sale. I could go with you to pick them out. You could put them on my charge if you want. What you think about it, let me know. Laura, we all know engineers can be a bit eccentric, but Richard Farley is one of the most highly regarded employees we have. He's been here for over nine years. Have you had a relationship with him outside KEI? No, of course not. One night he was waiting outside my aerobics class, and then again he showed up at my apartment and gave me a gift. What sort of a gift? It was a toy. He said it was because I was acting childish at the company softball game by making faces at him. Did you make faces at him? I don't know. I, he was annoying me. Yeah, maybe I made faces at him, so what? And that was the only contact you had with him outside of work? Yes. Except I did have lunch with him my first day here. But that's all. Look, it wasn't a date. Chris, my supervisor, asked me if I wanted to go to lunch, and Farley happened to be there, so he came along. Everybody paid for their own meal. It was my first day. I had just met him. What? Do you always smile at people that way? the best instructor around here. You are not supposed to be in here. Penny had to talk with me. She told me to stay away from me at work. They can't tell me what to do on my own time. It's gonna be fabulous. Well, you want a closet space, and closet space is what you're gonna get. You're the best tenant of the year. I was tearing out the old closet. Look what I found. <sighs> I thought I lost these. I was thinking maybe you and Laura and I could go to Tahoe this year. She loves to ski, you know. Yeah, sure. Uh, Rich. I know you have a thing for Laura. It's no secret. The whole company knows. Can I give you some advice? She's not interested. Why do you want to force this? Hi, love. It's 2.30 a.m., and I'm writing you this. That means that I'm bored and can't sleep. I've been awake thinking for the last two hours. I watched you a little on Friday. Oh, God. 
You're lovely. I love it when you try to ignore me because there's no way. You're just as aware of me when I'm around as I am of you when you're around. Would you believe that I really hate upsetting you? So I think I'll start by apologizing. Sometimes I admit I think of you sexually, but I spend a lot more time trying to understand what you say, what you do, why you won't do things with me. I've been told over and over again I should stop wasting my time with you. They just don't understand the hold you have on me. you get great gas mileage with this. You know, I'm feeling kind of hungry, and I was wondering if maybe you wanted to go out and have a bite right now. I'm tired, and I wish you'd please just leave me alone. If we could just talk about this. I don't feel like talking about anything. I just want you to stop bothering me. She's my girlfriend. I am not his girlfriend. She gets like this sometimes. She's got quite a temper, but it doesn't mean anything at all. It's just a lover's quarrel. You know how it is. Laura, where are you going? I just want to talk! here anymore. We'll get a new apartment, something with really great security. No, this is my problem. I can't do this to you. I've got to move. You want to leave me with this guy? I'm moving with you, okay? Your apartment complex or the fanciest prison. <laughs> Rich, could I interest you in some anchovy pizza? Oh no, thanks very much. Rich, I don't want guns in the house. I told you that when you rented the place. They're not loaded. I don't care. My daughter has her friends over. I want them out of here. I mean it, Rich. I'll take care of it. When? I want to know, Rich. I said I'd take care of it, Nancy. Good night, Chris. Oh, is it six o'clock already? No. I had to adjust my hours so I could leave early and avoid certain people, remember? Right. Hmm. Listen, Laura, about that application for the level five security clearance. When do I get that back? Hmm. I am working on it, but it is torture. They want to know everything. Hey, when you work for defense, Big Brother has to know everything about you. So you get through with that, right? Hmm because you're not going to get a promotion without a clearance ticket. I'll get it done. All right, thanks. All right, Bye. see you tomorrow.
apartment's much nicer, more private. But I'll bet you pay a lot more, too. I'm calling the police. I don't think that's a good idea. You know the holidays are just around the corner and you haven't even sent me a Christmas card? How long did you think it would take before I found out where your new place is? Are your two sisters as sneaky as you are? Your little sister, Sarah, is at Oregon State, and your older sister, Bonnie, is a nurse in Newport Beach, right? Oh, God. I even know about the time that you tried marijuana in high school, and if we're going to have a relationship, you're going to have to promise me right now that you will never do drugs again. Stop it. Stop it. You try to run. I'll go after one of your sisters. Maybe even your mother. What is it? How far are you going to push this? What do you want? You want to kill me? You want to rape me? You and I were meant for each other, Laura. Why me? Just tell me, why me? All I know is, you and I were meant to be together forever. for you. I'll clean it up. Hey, maybe it can be glued. Well, it can't. Why are you making such a big deal out of it? What's your problem? Package for you, Laura. It's from California. You have a boyfriend you haven't told us about. No, I don't. for six months now. They just don't hear me. Sometimes I get the feeling they think I'm responsible somehow. The woman in personnel said maybe this happened because I smiled at him too much. Oh, this is ridiculous. Look, maybe I should go out there. Oh, Dad, that's the last thing I want. Laura, you're a talented girl. You could go to work someplace else. I can't do that. Why? You know I have worked hard all my life to get this. I'm doing everything I've always dreamed of. I like it. I can't change my life because of him. If I do that, I, I'm, I'm his victim. It's like he's won. I'll go back to them, Dad. I'll make them listen to me. I promise. We're trying to do something about this, Laura. It's a complex situation. You've got his letters. You've got witnesses. What more do you need? Look, it's getting in the way of doing my job. We don't want to jeopardize Richard's security clearance. I can restrict his access to keep him away from you. And we can offer counseling to him in a program called Project Concern. Project concern, he won't go. He'll either go or be fired. It's something I'd like to make available to you, too. I don't need counseling. All I need is for him to leave me alone. I understand. 
Does he still follow you to your aerobics class? All the time he's a member now. You might think about giving it up for a while. It creates... Creates what? An awkward situation. You know, the clothes. You don't get it, lady. The problem here is Richard Farley, not me. <laughs> Ouch. Ouch. Check it out. Oh, cute. Oh, my <laughs> smile. Look at that. I don't know. He's oh, oh, new smile. to me. Oh, sure. Okay. All right. Bye. Bye. Oh, here we go. All right, Laura. Give it up. Give it up, talk. We want details. What? What? Okay. Who is he? He's looking. What's the deal? Okay, okay. Um, his name is Sam Waters, and he's in systems with Fairchild. Uh-huh. And uh, did he ask you out? Oh, maybe. Oh, come on. We want the details. What's the story? <laughs> Well, I don't really know too much about him, but he grew up on a ranch in Montana, and he's into rodeo. <laughs> well, he can come and play in my corral anytime he wants. <laughs> oh, I've been Excuse me. Yeah, right there. Oh, you can take you oh, anywhere. <laughs> I spent the whole day at Project Concern, and I have no intention of ever going back there again. You and Penny and Chris, you have no idea of who you're messing with here. Go get the manager now. I want you to get out of my way. You think I'm a joke, don't you? No, Rich, I don't think you're a joke. <laughs> don't you understand? Why do you want to find out how far I will go? Is it because you want to be right and win? Is that what you want to tell everybody that you won? No, it's not about winning. I just want to be left alone. I just don't think that you should tell anybody about our little talk here, all right? They might get the wrong impression and that they would do something stupid and then I could do something stupid and the whole thing could spiral beyond any hope of recovery. Get out of here! This could escalate, Laura. I might scare us both with what I'm capable of doing. I'm not sure you fully comprehend the seriousness of this matter. I don't think it's right for you or anyone else to control my private relationships. Do you understand that sexual harassment is against the law? You could be fired. I worked here for over nine years. If I lost my job, I'd have nothing to live for. That's my point. We want you to stay. I have guns. I'd kill myself. I wouldn't be the only one. Others would go. Rich, are you saying if you were fired, you would kill me? Yes. Not just you, I'd take others as well. Excuse me. Richard Farley has been terminated by the company, effective today. When did all this happen? Late last night. Laura, do you have a place to go for the weekend? What do you mean? Why don't you go away for a couple of days? You can leave right now, and why don't you charge the rest of the afternoon to the company? We have a Diet Cola. Hey, Farley. What you doing, playing hooky? Nope. 
Just got fired. So did Mike here. Well, sit down, join the club. I'll tell you something. That company is going to hell. I put in six years, busted my hump for that company. Doesn't make any difference. They got no loyalty. I was there nine years, and how do they thank me? Terminated. No notice, no appeal. Just like that, I'm gone. What's it going to take to wake him up? Somebody should do something. Make him pay attention. Yep. Somebody ought to teach him a lesson. Hell, they're not going to listen. We're last year's model. What do they care? Larry, you work up front. Those Mardex doors, are they bulletproof glass? No, they're not. What about the doors between the offices? Are they solid or hollow? <laughs> well, they're hollow. Why? Rich, what are you talking about? I'll see you guys later. Wait, what are you going to do? I mean, um, now that you're free and everything. I don't know. I'll think of something. Take you to lunch, okay? Richard Farley is no longer an employee of the company. What about the company getting a restraining order? A restraining order is something you should feel free to pursue on your own, but the company's not going to pay for it. We're no longer involved. But he was fired for sexual harassment. How can... No, he wasn't. He was let go because the quality of his work fell off. We thought it would be better that way. Better? Better for whom? You may already have won a million dollars. I don't think so. Ooh, two free toppings on a pizza. I'll keep that. Three carpet cleaning coupons. And a letter from you know who. Dear Laura, thank you for getting me fired. It's probably the best thing that ever happened to me. The neutral references from KEI helped me land a job as a software engineer with Prototrans in Cupertino, complete with stock options and full benefits. I put you down as the beneficiary of my life insurance policy. I'm also taking classes at San Jose State. Got a 92 on my first calc test. Now it's on to linear combinations, augmented matrices, and other pleasures of linear algebra. I moved out of Nancy's house to my own place two months ago. The rent is only $450 a month, but I do all the repairs. I'm fixing up a guest room. You're welcome to stay anytime you like. Do you know what really worries me about loving you? I keep wondering. Would I lose interest if you weren't so difficult? The thing about going to a lawyer for a restraining order is it could get expensive. I wouldn't mind if I was sure it would do some good. But even if he violates the restraining order, all they're going to do is slap him on the wrist. Just enough to provoke him. How do you live with this, Laura? Well, at least it's let up. I mean, he's pretty much left me alone lately. I still... Thank you.
It's all right, Sam. Believe me, I've learned to live with this. Laura, listen to me. You have got to take this more seriously. Now it goes in, just like that. Now you try it. Like that? That's it, you got it. Now remember, you shoot him, you want to empty the gun all nine shots. Oh, I couldn't. Yes, you could. There's not a court in the world that would convict you if you shot him on your own property. I don't like this. I can't even believe we're talking about it. All right. Let's just leave this here. And if it really bothers you, I promise I'll come pick it up. Okay? Thanks, Sam. Good night. Be careful. I'm just a phone call away if you need me. All right. Thanks. Did I wake you up? I'm really sorry. I just wanted to be sure that you got this note in the morning. How did you get in here? There you go. With that attitude. This could be so easy, Laura. If you would just make up your mind to go have dinner with me occasionally, then I wouldn't have to go sneaking into your garage to leave notes on your car. It's really not that hard. This isn't going to end, is it? That's the point I'm trying to make. The next move is up to you, Laura. As soon as KEI cashes out my retirement fund, I'm gonna buy some investment property, and I was hoping that you would go partners with me. It's all there in the letter. I'm gonna let you get back to bed now. Oh, could you send me the new softball schedule? Thanks. you're ready for pattern matching on a test drive. Chris, don't do this to me. What did they say? Nothing really. We uh, discussed corporate planning and uh, they approved your promotion. <laughs> Senior project analyst. No. There's only one hitch, Laura. Your level five security clearances haven't come through. Now you know that you need the clearance tickets to get the promotion, right? They're only going to wait for so long, Laura. I worked hard for this, Chris. I know. Listen, I think it's because Farley's still following you and screwing things up. Why don't you talk to a lawyer, Laura? Get the restraining order. Farley? 
Are you the guy from Digital? I'm glad to see you. No, this I have a legal document for you. This is a temporary restraining order. Laura wouldn't do that to me. She can, and she did. Now. Court date is set for Thursday morning. Where's something conservative to judges like that? It's not the judge I'm worried about. Laura, I've seen it happen time and again with guys like Farley. You won't hear from him again after Thursday. Right. I'll be there. Yeah, thanks. Court dates this week to make the restraining order permanent. Good. You did the right thing, Laura. You didn't have any choice. Ooh, hurry, sign this. Here they come. Anniversary? Yeah, they'll be married a year on Sunday. We're having a cake later. Hi. Hi, Wayne. What's going on? Uh, nothing. Nothing. I bet this baby's great off the road. You know, I really like it, Rich. I just, I just can't afford it. Oh man, one of these days. I'm talking about right now. I just don't have that kind of money. Look, Gary, two years ago I paid 18 for it, and I'm gonna let you have it for 4,500. It's worth twice that much. I know that, but something came up, and I need the money. Are you sure about this? Yeah. The only condition is it's got to be cash. Sure. High velocity. That's what you're buying with this baby. She's the best there is, hands down. Smooth action? Oh, you bet. And it doesn't have much of a recoil. That's important for rapid firing. It is the most expensive one we have. There are others that are quite good. You get what you pay for. I'll take it. Great. Anything else? We're having a store-wide clearance sale. Prices you can't beat. Yes, as a matter of fact, there is. Um, which one of these ammo vests down here holds the most? Uh, the one on the right there. It's got the most pockets. Yeah, all right. I'll take it. Anything else? Yeah. Let me have two of these double-lot buck shells. Two boxes? No, two cases. That's over 2,000 rounds. Like you said, you can't beat these prices. I got one over here. I think you'll like it. I think, I think this one would be perfect here. You'll cruise down to Los Angeles in style. Queen size bed, kitchen, color TV. What I like is it's got a lot of room. How many people do you say you wanted it for? Well, just be for me and my wife, Laura. She'll be impressed with this. going on a cookie run. Can I get you anything? Um, no. Thank you. Hi, Dad. Hey, this is a nice surprise. I was thinking about you. Too bad mom's out. How's everything going, sweetheart? It's 
It's all right. Uh, I'm finally going to court tomorrow. Tell Mom I'm sorry I missed her. I will. Listen, you take care of yourself. I love you, Dad. I love you, too. Hey, Larry. Cowboys and Indians.
shots fired. Take cover. We know who the shooter is yet? No, Captain. We don't know if we're dealing with a lone gunman or a bunch of terrorists. SWAT team's on the way. What's he doing? Do not enter the building. I repeat, do not enter the building. Put him back. Stop that man. Yes, Tom Bannister. Our command post is on the second floor here. Our uh, shooter's on the second floor there. ID on the subject, Richard Farley. Uh, evidently, this might be about a female employee, uh, Laura Black, who works in the building. And she is, uh, as far as we know, still in there. He's on the second floor, somewhere between here and here. Yeah. How many employees are still in the building? Uh, well, it's still a guess, but we think the number is somewhere between 30 and 50. Captain. Lieutenant Grichalba, hostage negotiator. They have an area set up for you right on the other side of that glass wall. Okay.
Where are you, Laura? Here's our boy. I've also got his military history. Let's make sure every man on the SWAT team has one of these. 11 years in the Navy, honorable discharge, top security clearance, no criminal record or history of any mental illness. Till today. Can you make any demands? I don't know. They just, Captain, uh, I've got him on the phone. I just want to make sure I'm talking to the right person. Yeah, I'm the guy who's shooting people. As a hostage negotiator, my goal is to help get you out of a difficult situation. Safely. I'm not ready to come out. I want to gloat for a while. And you can tell them all this is about Laura Black. About what? Tell her lawyer and her buddy Chris. They gave her bad advice. Are there a lot of people hurt out there, Rich? I'm gonna tell you something right now. I don't want to see any cops sneaking up on me. I've got an arsenal up here. What sort of weapons do you have? That's all. I'm not saying any more now. You're a hunter, aren't you, Rich? That's why you know so much about guns, huh? I'd rather kill people than animals. It's not sporting to kill animals. You take this. Uh, oh, down. oh, sorry. Come on. I got to do this. If we assault the building simultaneously with SWAT teams here, here, and here, we can take him. Look, there's still a lot of people inside. Some are wounded and need medical attention. I know. But the price of storming that building. I can't live with that. At least not right now. What if we get Farley in front of a window? Then you have a green light. Take him out. Are we sure these are all the office phone numbers on the second floor? I'll double check. We're set up to have all outgoing calls come to us. Hello? Yeah, is this Rich? We heard a gunshot in there. Is everything okay? Who are you trying to you're just trying to lock in my position so you can blow me away. 
Sorry, sir. He wasn't on the line long enough. We can put that cabinet in front of the door. No. Stay right here and be quiet. No, no, no. No, I can't. I can't just stay here and wait for him to get me. No, Lauren. You can't go out huh. there. No. Shh, Laura, no. go. I will not die in here. No. No. you to stay off this line. Call back and... What? I said get off the line. I've been shot. I will not get off the line. Forgive me. I'm sorry. Who, who are you? I'm Laura Black. Laura, where were you shot? In the shoulder. I've lost a lot of blood. Laura, what is your exact location? Um, I'm uh, in the second floor in the um, reception area. Kindly, I need someone to get me out of here. Hang on, Laura. We're gonna try and get you out of there. When? When? I'm... I can't... I'm having a really hard time breathing. I think my lungs... My punctured. I think it's punctured. I can't... You gotta get me out of here. Laura, just keep talking to us. I'll try. I'm gonna... I'm just... It's really... I'm... Laura? Laura, talk to me. Hello? Laura? Give me the person who saw him drive this motor home into the lot. Captain. Mrs. Olson, go ahead. Shaking. Uh, I'm in the motor home. He's carrying fuses and wire. He may have explosives in there. Longer I can hang on. Someone's got to come and get me out of here. Laura, listen. There's no way to send someone in right now. You're going to have to sit tight for a while. <laughs> Laura? Laura? from the window moving up on the Bancroft Boulevard side. I want him stopped, or I'm just gonna start blowing things up around here. Do 
you understand what I'm saying? Now just take it easy. Look, I know I'm gonna die here, but I'm gonna decide when. Lieutenant Bannister, have your people pulled back from the Bancroft side. Tell me something, Rich. In addition to all the guns, do you have explosives in there, too? <laughs> Damn right I do. I came to teach these people a lesson. It's Laura's fault that things got to this point. I warned her something like this would happen. I told her I couldn't let her get away with it, and I'm warning you. We'll have a lot more bodies if I see any more police near the building. <laughs> Basically. None of this would have happened if she'd gone out with me just one time. I don't think that was too much to ask. Do you? Why does she have to be so stubborn? I didn't even decide to hurt her until I got that court order. They were warned I couldn't let that happen. That's why we've got bodies all over the place. I had to show them. Let them know I'm not a wimp. Look. I'm gonna check on that SWAT team, and if I see them, you've got a big problem. Look, we'd like to resolve things so that nobody gets here. Get you to the hospital now. Just relax, everything's gonna be fine. What's your name? Uh, well, tell me, Rich, how do you think we can resolve this? I don't think we can. I kind of made up my mind I'm going to die here. It's just a question of when and who I take with me. Get me a Diet Cola and I'll think about it. I need a Diet Cola and a sandwich. My boss might go for that, but he's going to want something in return. I don't want a can of Diet Cola. I want a cup. One of those large quart-sized cups with a lot of ice in it. I chew up ice, so I need a lot of ice in it. We gotta get moving here. I don't like our blood pressure. I need a chest tube, set! That ninja's going on her shoulder, shattered up her humerus. Looks like a shot. I think I got to it alone. I need a trauma room and a vascular surgeon stat. Let's start a transfusion right now. Make sure there's blood in the trauma room. Where's the chest tube? I need the chest tube. One, two, three. Does anybody know her name? Laura Black. I said it on the news. Check out on me, Laura. You here? We're certain he's in this area of the second floor. We're going to try to evacuate the first floor. We need you to keep him occupied. I can use the fact he wants us to get him a drink and a sandwich. I was hoping he might exchange the food for some of his guns. He could be getting tired. Well, if you can get him to get rid of the guns by throwing him out of any of these windows, I can have one of my sharpshooters take him out. Think you can do that? Well, I'd like to try and get him to give up first. No problem. But if he's not willing, you get him in front of a window. Yes, sir. Yeah? How you doing in there? I'm not thinking about giving up. 
that's what you mean. Hold on a minute. Oh, it's Nancy. Come out of there, Nancy. You better get out of here. Let me do something for you, Rich. <laughs> Too late for that. Just go, Nancy. my food. Well, like I said, Rich, my boss is going to want something in return. Would you be willing to give up some of your weapons for some food? How would I get them to you? I was thinking if you broke one of the windows facing Bancroft, you could throw them out. <sighs> of course, we'd want you to unload them first. No way I'm giving you all my guns. Well, how about just some of them? It would be a sign, something I could take back to my boss, Rich. You understand? Okay. Okay, I'll get rid of one of the shotguns and a 22 Magnum pistol. Now, here's what I would like to eat. Besides the quart-sized Diet Cola, a number 26 sandwich from Togo's. Togo's? It's just up the street on Collingwood. Okay. I'd like a number 26, no tomatoes, with Swiss cheese. Okay, number 26. It's their best. No tomatoes. Make it large. I may have to eat twice. I may be here a while. Oh, hang on, Rich. Don't hang up now. Give me a minute. Let me pass this information to my boss, okay? I can't find Laura here. I think she got out. I'd like to know if she's doing okay. I don't know that. I'll have to check and get back to you. Yeah, check it. I think she got out. I hope she's doing good, because I want her to live. She can't regret it if she doesn't live. I want Laura to know I was serious. I had to get back at her. I'd go to her games and she would sit two feet from me. Then she'd point and laugh at me and talk behind my back. She can't play with people's lives. We're set here, Captain. Copy that. If you can get him into position, we're set. sandwich and a Diet Cola. I have them right here in front of me, Rich. I have a number 26 and a quart-sized Diet Cola. All you gotta do is throw the guns out the window. Okay. I'm gonna break out one of the windows on the Bancroft side, and then I'm gonna throw out the weapons. Right, but make sure they're all unloaded. Okay. I'm gonna try to break out one of the windows with a chair. Rich. Yeah. One thing. Once you throw the weapons out, we still have the problem of getting the sandwich and the Diet Cola back up to you. Yeah. 
Yeah, we do. Why don't you come down and have him here? Basically give myself up is what you're saying. That's what I'd like you to do, yes. First, I have to ask myself, do I really want to live in jail? Of course you do. You could teach computers there. Yeah. I could teach there. I have to think about it. Rich, I have your Diet Cola sitting right here in front of me and the ice is melting. Ice is melting. Okay. Let me know when you're ready. Doctor, can you tell me anything about Laura Black? Are you a relative? I'm a roommate. Your roommate is a fighter. She's going to make it. <laughs> can I see her? You'll be taking her down to recovery in a few minutes. When you come down the stairs, there'll be an officer there to give you directions. Do exactly what he tells you to do. I try not to get down on my knees. They're bad and it hurts me. So if he wants me to get down on my knees, he's going to have to let me go real slow. That's all right. You can talk to him. Just tell him you're going to be moving real slow. I'm going to come down there to meet you. Now remember, move very very slowly. You okay? I'm fine. Okay, I'll see you there. He's moving now. He's moving now. movie once where a guy had a derringer on a chain around his neck. You're under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in a court of law. You have a right to an attorney. If you cannot afford one, one will be provided for you. Do you understand these rights? Where's my sandwich? Hi, Rich. I brought you your food. Let's go. Do you think Laura will remember all of this? 